All right, well, what I notice is you have to know when or, or be able to pick a spot to share with others without getting frustrated or, or try to do, try to give without expectations, yes. is what I noticed. Yes. When we evolve spiritually, when we learn something very valuable, something that helps us, naturally we have desire to spread it to the world. Mm -hmm. And we become very enthusiastic to save the world. Though we don't mean it, but just we try to give out all the information, guidance, try to help everyone. And many times it backfires because people are not ready to receive. See, So we have to learn the lesson in a mental equilibrium, not to waste our energy and exert our energy at proper time and proper place see? so that we don't drain our energy. If we have desire to help others and we exert energy and that person takes advantage of us and don't change their life, we get frustrated. Mm -hmm. So we give without expectation. Also, we don't drain our energy. We don't give more than our capacity, we only share surplus. Mm -hmm. Also, generally we notice about people that I notice all the time and that is human nature and that is when you are need or you need something, you have, a, you are in certain stage of mind, you are very enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. Enthusiastic like I will do for my life but that enthusiasm dies in a week or two weeks, and that I see all the time. <laughs> People who find so much benefit from one lesson, just from one lesson, they say, I will do it for my, my life, mm -hmm. and what would I do far away? And the same person, after a couple of weeks, they seem to disappear. Mm -hmm. you know? And so why is that? Why is that? Enthusiasm dies quickly. Enthusiasm in the mind with certain thoughts and feelings, it says for shorter time, but our inner programming, inner sanskaras are constant and strong. Mm. It is like, a, you know, basic bulk of iceberg. It's mm. so powerful, it mm. comes up and pushes us down. So that happens to everyone. We become enthusiastic from time to time. Isn't that the, uh, isn't that a large part of the memory though I mean as you feel good you do yoga yes. then you know like you said a couple of weeks later people forget how yes. good it was or exactly. how they had peace of mind for a so moment. this short term enthusiasm we have to sustain it more like hard wiring it so that with practice mm -hmm. that enthusiasm remains because we have experience behind that mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. our own experience backs it up so this is why when we try to help people, they seem to be, uh, you know, very enthusiastic. They really mean it well, mm -hmm. but then old habits come in. Mm -hmm. You know, just like even ordinary situation, somebody needs money and you give them and their intention is good, mm -hmm. but they get caught up into some problems and they cannot pay. Mm -hmm. Then they will pay all kind of games and lie and cheat and all these things. Mm -hmm. But when you gave them money, they really meant it. Mm -hmm. But their old habit comes in, so what does it matter? Mm -hmm. You find excuse. Mm -hmm. So I can show you that, how enthusiasm changes. This is why steady, persistent practice is a must for evolving spiritually. And the life we live in, the society today, is very fast moving. Mm -hmm. So people have lost patience compassion, settling down, or thinking. People don't think. They are more like guided by commercials, guided by suggestions, and all the things happening around them, mm -hmm. they're programmed. Mm -hmm. They're like a robot. Most people are like robots, mm -hmm. and they don't know it. Mm -hmm. Most people are hypnotized, and they don't know it. We are all hypnotized, mm -hmm. but we don't know it. Because whatever command is given to us, we act, and that is hypnosis. <laughs> because we don't think, we cannot judge, 
that means we are hypnotized mm -hmm. and we are hypnotized in wrong direction. Mm -hmm. So to counteract one needs to do more of meditation. Mm 